Hello YouTube, the Eye of Stone here. We have reached Of Brethren and Betrayers, which I can describe to you as probably my third most favorite uh, level in Thief Deadly Shadows, the other two being House of the Widow Moira and uh, Robbing the Cradle in that order. We're doing this mission on Expert as usual. Of Brethren and Betrayers is... Uh, it's an interesting level. Uh, for a full OM, it is uh, relatively short. It's uh, short for a Thief 3 level, and it's short for a Thief level generally, again, at least relatively speaking. Um, I won't call it a light-hearted level, but it's uh, this is a crisp, uh, brisk, delicate level um again not a very long duration but there's uh the puzzles are uh the stealth puzzles the situations you have to defeat are kind of elegantly set up if you will um we're just going to go through the rounds on this one and then uh the next video after this one will be just brief day seven go go through the rounds and uh, get equipped for robbing the cradle. Um, I'm going to ask everybody to be just a little bit patient with me. I have a lot of things planned for robbing the cradle. Might take a week or three for me to uh, really give it the uh, production it deserves, but it, uh, I, uh, I guarantee it will not disappoint. So let's get right to the task at hand here we go I didn't get to it in the intro but uh, this is the eye of stones 275th video bloodshed in the compound it has been centuries has it not 278 years keeper Vorig I read my histories though of course there have been the unexplained disappearances the Council must respond to this, quickly and decisively. Come, let us take our places. And when the vote comes, I trust you will step forward with me to be counted. We will need every vote in favor we can muster. Attendance in the Council is lacking. Oh, a useless... I wonder what they have left to decide. <laughs> Maybe I can persuade a few keepers to vote my way. A useless legislative body. Imagine that. Okay, let's have a look see at this. It's shiny, burning, and sort of. So, I just prefer to have a seat on the stairs here and hear out the council session undramatically. Let's put out the torch. We're not supposed to be here. It's past our bedtime. Let's hide on the stairs and listen to the adults. Fellow Keepers! Many of us are called elsewhere this night, but for those that remain, I now bring this council to order. The question we consider first is whether access to Kataka's chambers shall be prescribed. Shall we remove a guard from the Grand Hall and set him to guard the scene of Interpreter Kataka's murder? Garrett will no doubt seek to return to the scene of his crime. Let us place a guard, ensuring an end to his malice for once and all. A guard will hardly stop Garrett, and will only cause trouble for our own work. The violence in the city is growing. We need not add to it by arming our own against each other. Let Katika's memory retain some privacy. There is nothing to be gained by picking over her rooms. Place a guard that they might warn away those whose curiosity outweighs their respect. Well spoken, all. Weigh all that you have heard, and all that you know in consideration. Remember, a majority vote is needed to take action. If your vote is to be yes, you must step forward and be counted. 
If your vote is to be no, remain unseen in your alcove. And the question before us is, do you wish to have Kataka's chambers guarded? Keepers, make your decisions known now. The decision of the Council is yes. None shall be permitted entry to Kataka's chambers, and a guard shall be directed to ensure that this is so. The second issue at hand concerns some books in the Elder Libraries which may shed light on the unwritten times. A proposal has been made to bring these precious volumes upstairs to the Hall of Scribes for further study, and where, under many watchful eyes, we might ensure the safety of these valuable chronicles. It is no secret that there have been disappearances. So, shall these books be moved to the Hall of Scribes? The only reasonable vote is for the safety of these precious books. They must be moved. If the unwritten times are truly upon us, then we must learn as much as we can, as quickly as we can. That is best done in the Hall of Scribes, so that more than one can study a volume. The books are fragile and will not stand the move or harsh treatment. They've been safe up until now. They should remain where they are. If there is value, it is in the words, not the paper. And we keepers are not seduced by gold covers. Let them be moved and scribed. Thank you for all your words. Weigh all that you have heard and all that you know in consideration. And the question before us is, should the books in the Elders' Library be brought to the more populated scribe room for study? The decision of the Council is yes. The books shall be taken from the libraries of the Elders and brought upstairs to the scribes. If there is no further business, we shall adjourn. Obviously, was hogging too much power, and this internal fan club of a council was sort of rubber stamperized. I mean, it was logical that the corruption would come from within. They might be able to hold the rest of the world off, but could they keep control of themselves? Ah, ha ha. I like this uh, rotunda here. Again, very thief. Um, this mission kind of reminds me of a keeper's training from Thief the Dart Project. And I think they really got the the mood right. Maybe this is the first hall that Garrett came in looks kind of like it. Sort of. Alright, so we've got a rover here. He's going to go over there and look at a book on a desk. There's two pieces of loot there. We don't want to be visible to him. What he is, he's facing we're in our direction now. He's going to turn about, and we're going to get behind him. There's an alcove for a council member. We're going to dive in there, wait for him to complete his circuit. Yes, there was a moss arrow there on the left, and yes, I did make a ton of noise. And he should have heard me, but he didn't. I banged into something. We don't need the, the moss arrow we don't appear to have alerted him so now we're going to play statue whatever else they may say of the new scribes their penmanship is impeccable so we're gonna steal the stuff not while he's looking yeah this uh this foyer or whatever this is this really sort of is reminding me of the first uh, room you spawn into in a keeper's training. You can pause here if you want to read this. It's a nice touch anyway.
Now, if you come up here while they're talking, after they go through the first point of order about the guard, if you're in here in this alcove with either of the two keepers who were talking on the steps here at the beginning, after the first vote is decided, they'll turn about and they have candles and you'll have kind of a messy situation on your hands. That's why I went down and sat on the stairs. Because there's just, you know, whereas now they're just standing there staring and you don't have to deal with it. See? Hmm? Oh. So many distractions lately. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down the steps and, uh, we're going to get past the, uh, President Pro Tempore here. We don't need the health potion. We don't even need to disarm him. Simple matter of timing. Uh, kind of uh, flip-flop in this room a little bit. Now, there's basically two guards down here on this first level of the Elder's Library. And uh, one of them is guarding the entrance to where you go to get to Katika's and the other is roving. On either side, there's an upper level, and there's people in both halls. And there's also a go well. there's also a roving guy with a torch that we have to watch out for. So again, don't hesitate to create some space. That's the glyph that's sealing it. We're gonna see to that. We're gonna go to Orland's room and take care of that. New robes, I see. Somewhat elaborate. The old robes were good enough for Xavier. Here's the rover with the torch. We just want to stay out of his way. My memory of such things is getting garbled. How old I must be. But back then, we could trust each other. I do remember that much. So sad. So these guys are just standing there. You know, these are not excruciatingly difficult situations. They're just kind of, as I said in the intro, there's an elegance to it. Um, it is possible to... Excuse me, I was lost in thought. It is possible to screw up royally, and if you screw up bad in here, you have a lot of friends in a very... in a relatively small amount of space, so... Things can go wrong here, but it's not that difficult. No. You don't want to walk straight into their line of sights. So let's let's not do that. There is nothing then. There is nothing. Okay, now there's two unarmed scribes in here, one sitting, one standing. One of the special loot items is in here. Um, if you look, it's not on screen yet, but it's to my right. There's a podium in front of these tables where it's where it's at, and uh, we'll get it. There's a candle. We're going to get that. There's another candle on the other side of the room, too, that we didn't get. We'll get that. Let's just, uh... Okay, you see the podium there? That's a special loot item. It's one of those books they were talking about. Hard to know what to think, with each elder telling a different tale. But I think it's clear. Some of the glyphs are <sighs> changing. But why? 
let's actually, uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's go here, let's knock the barrel over so it freaks everybody out, and then let's go get the other candle. before we make any dramatic grabs. Boy, I haven't re I haven't done some of these readings in forever. It's been a long time since I've read some of these. Too long. I should focus less on employment and more on thief. So you have a good view here of there's that guard. I don't know if you can see him between the base of the column and the flag there was the, the the guy the static post guard and then there's the rover okay so now that is another special loot item those are the golden scales we're gonna get those so it's possible to take down just this guy and do what you need to do um, requires tight timing, but that's one way of dealing with it. No reason why you you need to do anything more than that. There's the uh, elders on the other side of the hall. Whoops. Xavier would never have allowed it, but times are different, and Orland is first keeper now. Whoops. Perhaps my eyes are tired. I've read many pages today. He read many page. What do we got here? Ooh. Impropriety. Greetings, Keeper. Indeed. Yeah, Keeper. Is Artemis in his room? He asked if he might borrow the letters of the diocese, but I missed him at the evening meal. No, Artemis left nearly before dawn with no word of his return plans. No word? Orland might find that curious. You've heard the rumors of the Rogue Keepers, a splinter group, or even groups. Orland would only find it curious if someone were to tell him. And don't you think that there have been more than enough accused already? Yes. Well, if you do see Artemis, tell him that I cannot find the letters. Another must have borrowed them, though I gave no permission. I will tell him, if I see him. I gave no permission. I didn't give any permission either. Did I hear a... Hmm. Yes, you heard a... There is no noise now. You heard a... Hmm. Now, no reason to bother her. We will mind our manners, but these rats are going to die. And uh, that's also going to be relevant later on in this uh, video. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you all, not exactly a hack or an exploit, but the second part of this mission can, uh, the ease with which you get through it can benefit greatly with some uh, preemptive strikes on the rats. The Bafford Chronicles. Okay. Now, It isn't even really necessary. You have to mess up pretty bad to run afoul with her, so let's just 
This is one of those levels, I will say this, this is one of those levels where you don't want to initiate the final sequence of activities and not have all your loot, because if uh, things, something kicks off at the end of this level, and if you don't have your loot ready to go, it, it just becomes a pain. Hug the wall, go up the stairs. You know, it's not an excruciatingly difficult level. Lord Bafford's manor is not excruciatingly difficult. But, you know, you don't. It, an iconic level does not have to be a. Uh, a hard level. A, a good level doesn't have to be hard or iconic for that matter. I just really like this level. Maybe there's no especially logical reason for it, but I do. Back down the stairs. Now, Artemis' room is actually through the door to the right of the chest against the wall over here. So, we'll mosey over here. Noise. Hmm. Just a random noise. Before we go into Artemis's room, I want to make sure there is some loot to be had. You see that statue? There's some loot over there. I don't think we're going to bother with it, though. There's a lot of keepers in there. I just point out there is some loot to be had by that statue. Let's just go to Artemis's room. <laughs> too many distractions. No, you're just paying too much attention. All right. Let's slither over here. She's uh, staring at something on the statue. This looks like Artemis's room. Maybe I can find out where he went. Thank you, Artemis. It's my inheritance from you. Okay. Boy, it has been forever since I have read these. Alright. So, we're gonna go straight to the boss's room. top of the platform without being heard. Very good. I did not hear you traverse the room. It's a secret door. 
door. And this must have been where Orland was standing when he was barking at us during the trial. Let's go ahead and take this out. Probably not even necessary. I don't think any of those people will see us, but... Eh. No reason Orland, to be Orland, Orland. I wouldn't have thought you were the peeping Tom sort. No? Here's another anonymous letter that Orland just took at face value. Not signed. Uh-huh. That seal must be what Orland's using to hide the door glyphs. Time for me to get rid of it. Yes. So, you have to destroy it with fire. Which means there's fireplaces you can drop it into. Nobody's going to hear you. Just take it out. And this is junk. Okay. Now, I want to show you something that I haven't... I haven't shown this in this uh, Let's Play. This screen shows you your inventory, your items, um, you know, stuff you're carrying, and it also shows you which upgrades Garrett has. So, as you can see, now we have the glyph, the door glyph back because we destroyed that uh, ward that was binding it. And these are all the upgrades we've accumulated. So, I don't think I've shown this on this uh, series, so it was important to do that. Okay. Ah, uh, to do to do. Let's just go through the motions. Again, you can pause if you need more time to read. I'm reading too. Orland was just a total idiot. How he got to the top is a. Uh, indicative that the keepers were losing their grip a bit. I shall find him and the enforcers will finish. Oh, so you're not going to do it yourself, because that would require actual macho. Okay. Again, you don't want to don't want to get behind on the loot in this mission. Now this opens too, but it doesn't open from this side. At least not right now it's not going to. Maybe it does. It probably does. I just didn't bother to look. It would have to. It, yeah, because duh. It would have to have one of those. Whatever. We're gonna we're gonna open it, but let's let's go around this way. It's kinda cheating to go through through there. It's we'll We'll do it the hard way. Alright, now obviously 
now is not such a good time to open the door because we hear footsteps. Let's. Did I hear a? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. How Where was I? How far away? Did he... Yeah. So he was decently far away when we opened the door. That's fine. Never mind, Mr. Guy, who can't be bothered to turn around. But I did forget a piece of loot that's calling out to me. So let's go get that. All right, now, there's no other good way to do this. I mean, you could use a flash bomb, but... Actually, that's not true at all. There's a million good ways to do this. It would be best if you came out now. I will not warn you again. Must be getting close then. All right. Now. That will have basically set off the entire area. So let's be careful. See, he's not there. I would be tempted just to run for it, but we've got other stuff to do here. Hi. Boy. That was close. That was real close. See now, this is something you want to avoid. We're kind of surrounded. We're, we're trapped in a narrow space we can't get out of. We've got suspicious people on both sides. And yeah, this is not a good position to have found ourselves in. So, measured use of force. <laughs> Boy, I think we messed him up. I probably could have leaned up against a wall and gotten away with this, but... Maybe yes, maybe no. I'll say this, the wall lean function in this game lets you get away with things you probably shouldn't. I mean, you can do some amazing things in... in, in TDP and TMA, you can let them get real close to you. Thief 1 and Thief 2, there have been some times where I was sure I was going to get caught, and it's like we were nanometers away and I pulled it off. But even then, there are hard limits. Whereas if you're leaned up against the wall in Thief DS, it's like they can practically be in contact with you and not notice. So, but are there exceptions to that? Uh, I went ahead and I went ahead and fired. You can't... You can't unfire. We're gonna go ahead and, uh... <clears throat> Two knockouts for this mission will not be totally amateur hour. The... So what we did was we've taken out, it looks like we've taken out the guy who was roving down here and the guy who was standing static post by the door. So the upstairs rover isn't going to come down here. So this is for the lower libraries. Um, we don't need that yet. We're not done in this part of the building. Let's take these. So that's uh, two special loot items we have. Save here. Okay. Now there's a uh, there's a mound of dead bodies to get over. There's like a kitchen area or a mess hall or something that we have to get to. And it's not on this side, it's on the other side. Now we have 
friends on the other side. But things have calmed down in here. I just don't want to... Uh, the guy with the torch is still walking around. I don't want to run into him in here. Let's wait a minute. Let's see if he's going to come through here. because I laugh too much. Okay, now, whoa. Did you see that? Did you see how he was facing over here? He was looking at the guard on roving patrol, but we weren't exactly in shadow, and if I had been a little bit further out, he would have seen me. you got to bear that in mind, that these people, their, their AI behavior has them change facing for certain other reasons than just because they're roving or because they thought they heard something they can intermittently change their facing ah, noise. I should investigate yes you should okay do, 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 do. yeah the dining hall okay now where are you in here oh. and I'm not alone where was I? Okay. I'm sure there is someone here. Let's and together we will find him. Let's not a fleeting glance. Uh oh. Oops. <sighs> there is nothing to see, and much work to be done. There is nothing. A lot of loot in here, and we need to get all of it. Okay, it's not a difficult circuit. He goes and warms his hands. He goes and looks at a statue. Then he turns and looks at a wall, and then he walks back over to the fireplace. More or less. Don't, you know, just don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to be out behind him just pay attention to the timing of his facing it's perfectly safe and don't you know don't should be right there okay that was another that was another special item now we seem to have hit a little pocket of a uh, shadow here see strange that light and he's noticing things, but we have this little pocket of shadow we're using. Is off. Okay, let's just get out of his way. Whatever it was, it is gone. That's right. It is gone. Oh, and I forgot the painting. Was that something? Let's just see. You are as cold as liquid helium, dude. Uh, Yoink. These are troubling times, but I should not waste my precious time over nothing. That's right. Don't do your job. <laughs> gonna go back to doing his little 
little circuit. We are going to go up the stairs. Hang on, guys. Just sort of hug the wall. we forget. Whoops. Okay, now. Okay, we've been here before. And obviously, there it is. Okay. He is there, and... Now, I don't know if I'm going to bother doing this. If you look straight ahead, you might see a faint flicker. There's some barrels. And, uh, it's not loot, I don't think. I think if memory serves... Whatever else they may say of the new scribes, their penmanship is... impeccable. If memory serves, those are just arrows. And I don't think they're arrows I need, because we have not been going terribly heavy on our resources this time around. Um... I don't want to screw this up over some stupid arrows we don't even need, but then again, let's be sure there's no loot over there. Yeah. Now these barrels look like they might be marked as incendiary. I'm not even going to mess with that rail. We're just going to take the plunge. All right, let us get out of here before I ruin this completely. We're very slowly getting away. Uh, again, you gotta be careful for these chairs. This is exactly the type of moment where the weird physics in this game will make you, like, you'll be crawling in between a wall and a row of chairs like that, and there'll just be this horrible bang when the chair moves and the guard will be on top of you, and it'll be a reload. Now, let's see what kind of situation we created with that noisemaker arrow stunt we pulled to get in here. Let's have a look-see. Okay. Looks like the situation is actually good. They're both facing away. It's like, you know, one of them should <sighs> still have been facing this direction. But it looks like they both changed their facing away from me, so... That was fortunate. There's nothing here. Let's just wait for Torch Guy to leave. This uh like he already knew the chronicles had been tampered with. I want to close this door. I'm OCD that way. It's bad thief form to leave doors open. Sometimes they notice and it's just not elegant to leave doors ajar. Hmm. I could drop down there but that guy's in there, and I don't want to use another moss arrow. We're just going to sneak on by. I think this side is going to be the better way to do it, though. 
Yeah, it'll work. Yeah, no reason to be at this point. There's no reason to be cheap. With our resources. If I had not ever played this level before, would I go to the Hall of Statues first, or would I go to Catechus Chambers? I'd probably go to Catechus Chambers first, and I'd probably look at everything there was to look at. And you can make this final sequence of this level a lot easier if you don't do that. Um, I don't know why I'm fussing over spoilers, because I don't usually fuss over spoilers. I usually assume uh, actually a fairly high level of familiarity with these games. So obviously these dudes are going to be looking for us. So again, step one is every... Every rat dies. Take them out. So you don't have any mishaps when you're trying to sneak the hell out of here. Um, and again, Make sure to finish off the loot. All the loot I'm gonna need is here in this. There, we won't have to go back upstairs. All the loot I need is in here. I just have to find it. I know there's enough in here. Okay. Let's have a look see this way. Keep your eyes open for any rats. Let's get the loot first. You never know where it can be stashed. one. Okay, so we need 20% more. <laughs> now, one way you could do this is like so. Hmm. Something tells me there's no coming back. I should finish everything else I've got to do first. Go see what happened to Grandma. Oops. Hello. <laughs> hmm. 
Whoever did this knows a lot more about glyphs than most keepers. That's not good. Good shot. Even better shot. Best shot. I think I missed that rat at point blank range like three times. Impressive. I really like what they did with the eye in this third game. Um, in the fine and the still life with blackjack level i wish that they had also given the other artifacts a little bit more personality too like you know when you get the jack nulls paw it, it randomly shakes your hand or the crown will refuse to come off your head or you know something like that Okay, let's not read that yet, because once you read that, the next time you go into the Hall of Statues, the cutscene triggers, so... We need to have all our loot, and... Need to be ready to go now. It's all here, I just have to find it. This must be where... Keeper Gamal was allegedly... Let's see... Let's go in here. getting close. Let's see. Oh, just bear with me. I haven't read any of this in forever. Yeah, the aftermath of the mechanists is something we know almost nothing about. It's very fascinating to me how that mess may have been cleaned up. Is it up here? I don't think so, but... <laughs> it's thrown in a very odd place. I'm missing... I'm missing at least one piece. 85%, huh? So... Oops! Okay. Oh, boy, I thought that was going to be it. Uh-uh. 88%. Okay. Please don't tell me I'm going to have to double back. I don't really think there's going to be anything in here. I think... It's none of this stuff, I'm pretty sure. All right. It's not here. It's not here. Sometimes the little aura thingy. Oh. I really hope I'm not going to have to go back upstairs. I don't think there is something 
in this area that I'm missing. Let's see. Let's just... Whoops. Okay. There we go. Alright, now. What we're going to do is we're going to make conditions more favorable for ourselves. Let's read the note. Really kind of childish, actually. No one is supposed to know I'm here. So who left me this note? The water arrows now. Rank hath its privileges, and I know what's about to happen, so I'm preparing for it. Because we do not have the blackjack upgrade yet, and so I don't have time for these dudes. That's right. I just want to get the heck out of here. Come on. this one. We don't really need to take out this one either. Let's save them. Ten water arrows isn't going to be that expensive, especially not after we get the free ones. Alright, let's just, let's do, do this. This is the place, all right. Quiet! Don't Why do I smell a rat? Don't talk out loud. Terminus animus. Take the power, the glyphs, the bindings, live, walk, talk, and obey! Yes, my will, my desires. Terminus, Animus, awake! What is your will? Garrett is here among you somewhere. Seek. Fetch, bind him out, crush him till breathing stops, cut him till bleeding stops. Do not let him escape. Yes. I must leave you, my helpers, my minions, my stone warriors, and secret myself away. Yes, must keep secret, must stay hidden a little while longer. Oh, so many secrets. So now we have Rock'em Sock'em robots wondering why the power is going out. Okay. 
Okay. Nice and easy. Catch and find and crush and crush and crush and find. I am stuck on unruly geometry. Come on. Boy, that sucked. also be a statue. That's why you shouldn't smoke. Escaped. Up the ladder we go. The heck out of here. I found more than I bargained for. A hideous old woman who makes statues walk, who is out for my blood and knows me by name. Orland doesn't seem to have a clue, so I don't think he's my man after all. Artemis didn't leave me much to go on either. I managed to escape the ambush, but the Keepers still think I'm the enemy. In fact, I only know of one person who might be able to help me. A Hammerite named Inspector Drept. Day 7, coming up next. I will see everybody then.